Hello folks, the last one went up on the 9th of April when it was supposed to. So let's hope for the best and say that this is the 16th of April, Friday. I tried to play solitaire on my laptop the other day. There were cards flying all over the place. It was like a it was like a haunted seance. <laughs> Just played a passing role in the last video. Today we're talking a little bit more about the, the MXR Dynacomp. This is from 1988. Young players. Um, <clears throat> you know, you get a, maybe a relatively inexpensive guitar, maybe a not very expensive amp. confidence it's all about confidence really you know you, you when you feel diffident you play diffidently and people pick up on it they think oh he's not he's not very good doesn't mean he's not very good it just means that he's not confident and a lot of young players will gravitate towards distortion pedals which is fair enough I do it I did it myself I do it to this day hide my inadequacies behind a wall of distortion <laughs> but the the other option <clears throat> and one which I sort of intuitively understood because I had a Dynacomp very early on well 10 years after I started playing I suppose <laughs> But I bought one and, and <clears throat> although when you use them properly they're very subtle um, and indeed now I think most pedal compressors don't do what the Dynacomp does particularly well because they're all designed to work properly in the context of recording or playing in a band or you know being a funk player or... It's great fun to turn the sensitivity all the way up and just use it to pretend you're a pedal steel player. You can hear that click at the front of the note as it as the box is startled by this loud note coming at it and it cuts it off and squeezes everything makes it smaller unless it's small already, in which case it grabs it, makes it bigger and turns everything into a... a long, sustainy, beautiful thing. So let's hear it for the um, the squishy compressor as a an aid in building confidence because you know you, you can you do all that sort of stuff full of mistakes and it still sounds great because it's all one level like the record. It's 
set like this. Not necessarily an, a, a sound you'd want in a band. Not necessarily very useful in a band situation. Not very useful in a recording situation. <laughs> If you're sitting practicing playing on your own, it's very diverting, very engaging, very um,
sustain is what we all want, really. Apart from those of us who don't want it. <laughs> tone press on my pedal board which is a proper compressor proper you know kind of compressor you could sensibly use live and, and maybe even use for recording if, if you you know if you wanted to use your own your own thing it has a mix control and and all sorts but for fun and it goes back to the old two knobs thing again you know take away the choices oh life is so much sweeter for real fun Dynacomp takes a lot of beating. 
maximum sensitivity, set the output to taste. This is a great guitar, but it doesn't do that on its own. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks folks for your patience and diligence if you got this far. Enjoy spring and the onset of summer or autumn and the onset of winter depending on where you are. <laughs> and uh, fingers crossed and touch wood. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye. <laughs>